Hello budget foodies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk all about how you can save money by making your sandwiches before you go to work rather than buying them on the go. So you might recall a while ago research came out about meal deals and how they actually contain a lot of sugar and salt and they're just in generally not as good for you as people may think. And I saw a lot of people were buying these meals, spending between three or four pounds a day on them, when really if they made them at home they could be doing it for half the price. And I'm going to prove that today. So I picked one of my favourite sandwiches which is a simple cheddar ploughman's. So this one cost £1.80. I'm going to make one today. So I've got all my ingredients, I've got lettuce, tomatoes, bread, cheese, pickles, spread. And I've chosen to use a little bit of an expensive cheese, that's just because it's one of my favourites. But you could pretty much use anything. So I've topped all this up and it's just six pounds 64 for all the ingredients. That worked out to be 83p a sandwich, making 8 sandwiches with just those ingredients. And that's only using up all the bread. I'll still have my cheese, pickle, butter spread and my lettuce left over. So you're getting even more for your money and you're re reducing that amount of food waste. So it's taken me less than a minute to put the sandwich together. It's super quick and easy. You can do this at home in the morning. You can maybe do it the night before and pop it in some Tupperware. But you know that everything that's put in it is good for you. You know that it's what you like and you can control it. Now I mentioned earlier about the health benefits of cooking your own lunches before you go to work. So I just want to outline that here. There's no major differences between mine and between the shop bought. I'm going to be open and honest about that. And mine actually contains slightly more sugar. But as you saw, I only put in there natural ingredients. And this links back to that natural sugars thing, which I'm going to do another blog, a blog about in a couple of weeks. Fat content is lower in mine, the calories is lower, the amount of salt is lower, and the saturated fat is actually half that of the sandwich that I bought. So there you are, you can really see how buying at home saves you money, as well as saving you on the health benefits, specifically those saturated fats, which of course are incredibly important because they link to all sorts of health problems. So there you are guys, there is my budget tip for this week. So if you want to see anything more like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, pop me a comment down below of what you want to see, and I'll be back next week with another one of these. So thank you very much for watching.